This pitch breakfast video is brought to you by Spangler and Agins. Hello everyone, how's everyone doing today? Good. Uh, we are a college shirt. Uh, we are the Airbnb for the college uh, marketplace. So basically the college market represents 10% of the $2 trillion college travel market. And basically we're bringing student hosts and travelers together, whether that is your college student or your postgraduate or alumni. The issue that we're solving is that if you go to like say a sporting event or a graduation or anything that's nearby college campus, a lot of times trying to find housing, whether it's for a long-term three month stay, or whether it's for say the final four, it's really difficult to find that because everyone's going in and getting it. And we've had personal experiences. We met at UC Irvine. We would go up to UCLA to visit friends and we had had nowhere to stay. And that's how a lot of people and a lot of college students do this today is through friend networks or just driving back you know, late at night to their home. And so the way we're gonna solve this is by solving the problems of trust, affordability and convenience on our platform, which is socially integrated. And we're gonna also help solve the problem for students who have housing and they need extra money. So what we've done today is we have a platform and we take 7.5% of any host's fees that we get and we target this via our email marketing database that we've built up over the past 10 years and we have done a few campaigns for the Rose Bowl for the NCAA Final Four and a music festival in Southern California called Coachella and our current plans are to go to Columbia, South Carolina to really target that school to go on the ground. We can also partner with sororities and fraternities and also potentially with the colleges themselves for summer inventory. And what we are looking for is $200,000 to do scale out and to bring on further tech talent uh, and management and uh, marketing. So that's what we're looking to do and that is College Dirt. And our pitch line is why have one college experience when you can have them all? Thank you. You mind if I borrow the mic? Yes. There you go. So I, my first question would be, uh, which had, is a question I had the entire time you were uh, pitching, is how big is this market? And, um, and, and how many times, and, and first of all, I wasn't quite sure if I understood exactly whether this is for college students to go spend time in another college, or is this for the, anybody who wants to go to a new city? And, and why, and what kind of events? You mentioned um, bowls, but is that, does that happen with enough frequency during, throughout the year? Well, those are like the, well, those are the highlight events, obviously, like the Rose Bowl, uh, the NCAA Final Four, but there's always travel happening, whether you're going every weekend, say, for instance, say a college student is going back to their parents and they have open inventory and then someone else is coming in to visit their friends at that college campus. There's basically open inventory there. To your first question, as far as who it's for, as far as on the host side, it's for colleges, uh, if it's institutional, and it's for uh, the students, if it's their own housing directly. But as far as on the guest side, it can be anywhere from someone who's trying to evaluate a college, a high school senior, all the way to someone who's uh, their 25th alumni, you know, and they're going back and they want to see, you know, meet everyone and they need a place to stay. So it's a wide swath on the uh, guest side. So how big is the market? I mean, that's the big. It's 10%. Uh, the college travel market represents 10% of the $2 trillion travel market. So it's 200 million is the total potential market. 200 million? Yeah. In terms of all travel, that's uh, the college market. Billion. Oh, billion. Yeah. It's hard for me to believe that. I mean, I think I would need to see more uh, mm. details about that because I think that's going to be the biggest question that I would have. Uh, I mean, there's lots of industries, and 200 billion is a, is a big, big number. Just can't imagine that people spend 200 billion dollars to go to spend time in a college. Uh, you know, this just doesn't doesn't jive. Doesn't make sense. 
Well, it's the events around the college and what you're doing. It's not just related to the Rose Bowl or, uh, you know, say college games and so forth. It can be if you're doing general events, sporting games, <coughs> business travel. It's yeah. really basically we're opening up this inventory that's really affordable. Yeah. And that has a lot of convenience and there's trust factor with the social thing. So it's, I assume you're saying as far on the, the host side, but the guest side is more open just versus college. Alone. So, so you're, you're basically Airbnb, all right? You're competing with them. It's just that your inventory is not anybody's home, but just college dorms. And, and then we differentiate a value add by centering around the college experience. So whether you're going back for alumni, whether you're doing uh, you know, a business trip that you can add on for, you know, in terms of your alumni networks, or whether you're doing just something that's a sporting game, it's centered around the college experience as a value add. So we're not just trying to just say, we're gonna take this. So my comment would be to, uh, to try to narrow this down, because I think it's not a complicated concept, yeah. but I think you can do a better job probably of synthesizing you know, the, 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 the punchline. Okay. So that you're a little quicker because if you tell this as a very long and extended story, you're going to lose uh, the attention of somebody on an elevator pitch. And, and I would actually really think about throwing some numbers that would give um, a stronger sense that you, you are, you've done the math on the market size. Uh, and it's not just we're 10% of this huge market. It's just that that way of calculating it is probably not... Uh, sharp enough. You probably need to sharpen it a little bit more to be able to convey a more powerful message and understanding of the market size. Well, we have a bottom-up uh, number, if uh, Rashidi wanted to uh, outline that real quickly. Yeah, so there's about 4,500 uh, universities across the country and 21 million college students. And I think about 60% do on-campus housing. So we estimated that the total amount of inventory is about 60% of uh, 21 million. That was a bottom up approach. And the 10, uh, was it 2 trillion? 2 trillion, 10% of that was based on uh, statistics from BG, uh, BGC, Boston Associate Group, or the travel market for student travel. So that's worldwide, that's not just the United States. So the, that's the, the supply side, but I think the demand side would be my question. How many people do want to spend time, uh, you know, and, and when you go to visit your college, you want to stay at a hotel or an Airbnb place, or do you want to stay at a dorm? which some people would, but I don't know that everybody would, or, or necessarily even 10% of people would. Right. But, but I think those kinds of numbers, the way you described it, is exactly how, um, how it should be pitched. Yeah. So I, I had three things I wanted to say. I thought you did a good job communicating what you're doing. Um, the second thing I, I, would, I would ask, I would say is, <clears throat> every time someone says to me, I'm the Uber of X, right? the immediate thing that I want to know is, okay, how are you better than Uber, right? Because m no one says, you know, well, I think of something that's massively failed, right? No one compares themselves to a failure, right? And so if you're going to compare yourself to something really successful, like Airbnb, I think you need to be really awesome at saying why you're better and different, right? And I felt like in y'all's presentation today, which was brief, like, I don't know why you're better or different. Like, I, like I've airbnb for the USC game in Tucson last year, and like I can't think of why I would look at your thing instead of Airbnb next time, right? Um, and the third thing I would say is, there's a person in Charlotte, North Carolina you should meet. His name is Justin Gaither. Do you guys know Justin? Yeah, we've uh, met with him. Yeah. Right on, yeah, okay, good. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, as far, so, so just uh, one thing on your, uh, as far as the differentiation, we give the value add to the college market. So it's really about, you know, when you travel and you're going back, like say you're an alumni and you're going back. Like going back for the USC game. Yeah, it's 20, yeah. 20 years and you want to know what are the cool places, what are the places to hang out. We are really going to that super host approach where the college student that's hosting would be able to guide and be able to like let you know where to go and what places are you know good. And so it's it's really centered around the college experience. You know, it's like you know the tailgating and so forth. In that particular yeah, and example. yeah, I'm just, I'm just thinking about myself. Yeah, right. The like, do, do you think I do you think people need that? Like, I, I mean, how, how many? How, hold on. How many of you feel like you're a reasonable expert on the place where you went to college? How many would you say? Yeah. How many of you would say you are not? Right? I mean, I hear, I hear your point, but like, 
Let, I know a lot. Like I know a lot about Tucson. Now. So, so yeah. the focus is uh, specifically like Bay Mountain Turbine, and uh, we wouldn't necessarily consider ourselves experts on Irvine. Yeah. But being away from the community, we wouldn't know what the coolest bar right now to go is in Irvine right now. Yeah. So part of the service is connecting us with a host that would sort of be a local concierge to give us a sort of a four on one of what to do, what to do, or what to visit when we're in the area. And the most differentiating point between us and let's say the Airbnb main service is our inventory is specific around the college deans. So it's not a couch or a random house or a vacation rental in you know, Newport Beach. It's something geared around UC Irvine and the college experience. Okay. You know, but uh, there is a, I think, if you can find a better niche, uh, you could in, have something interesting here. And, and I mean, I heard a pitch recently, for example, that made me think of you. Uh, there are 30,000 today, 30,000 high school uh, Chinese kids coming to the U.S. to try to uh, experience uh, a year abroad. And they have a difficult time finding housing. And one place, one, one pitch I heard is uh, colleges housing those Chinese kids because uh, they have to uh, go to homes and it's very difficult for a person to actually house them and, and, and give them transportation. These are high school kids. And, and give them meals, and, they're and they do this because they want the American experience. And, and it's also difficult to put them in dorms, they don't get the American experience if they do that. But if you could combine that idea, for example, uh, the, and, and then I could, and it's a big market. I mean, they pay $2,000 a month times uh, 30,000 kids, uh, and this market is growing twice, I mean, doubling every year. Uh, and that's just Chinese. Students. And for those humans saying we can show you around Irvine, yeah, that's it's real a, value add. It's real value. That's like because yeah. like they're super double clueless and they would acknowledge it. So right? something like that, where there's there's a market of, of kids it, focusing, I think is 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 very important in this case in, in finding the right niche. Vic has a question. Will, will be will be valuable. See, oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I don't know if they got to in the pitch because obviously it was in just two minute uh, portion. But the real problem and one of the main reason we address this is that kids are stuck in 12 month leases right now when they only need nine months worth of residence at the current university. Yeah. So we're trying to connect and meet those markets where there's three months when they go home from school with kids that maybe are staying over there and that maybe need three well, months of market. You should, That's a specific problem okay. we're really addressing. All right. So you should and, say that. You should yeah. say that in your pitch yeah. because, the, I mean, don't be too fluffy when the two men are stories. That's really different than Airbnb, yeah. Problem, right? right, that's a different thing, yeah. That's cool. Vic had a question. So you're out of time. Vic, be fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much.